Good morning, everybody. Everybody find their seats and we'll get started for today. I'll welcome everybody to this year's version of the Air Quality and Health Workshop. Uh, my name is Chris Lamb. I'm the President and CEO at the BC Lung Foundation. And I'm so honored that all of you could join us for on a, on a beautiful day in Vancouver. Uh, a great day to really talk about air quality, uh, the effects of electrification of vehicles, uh, its impact on the environment, and everything that goes with it. Um, I want to start off first by acknowledging that we are indeed on the traditional and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. Uh, and, and this is really important to me right now because uh, I think this is the time that we sort of recognize the privilege that we have based on how beautiful it is here. Uh, but also that it is our responsibility to take care of the air that we breathe in. Uh, today we're going to have some great, great conversations. We have experts joining us uh, from Southern California. We have experts from right here in British Columbia. Uh, and of course, uh, we have some special guests who will be joining us here in the room and uh, via the beautiful uh, technology that we have. Uh, all the way from Norway uh, to talk about their experiences with the electrification of vehicles, the creation of micro communities, and this movement towards active transportation, which really is going to affect all of us in the long run. Uh, before we really get going, I also want to thank a number of people uh, in the room right now. Uh, the BC Lung Foundation has our local directors from all over the province, uh, and, and they've joined us for this, as well as part of our directors conference, which follows this. So thank you to all of them for being here. I also want to thank the Air Quality and Health Steering Committee. Uh, it's made up of all levels of government, everything from the municipal level, the provincial level, and the federal level, as well as local partners. All of them have come together to be a part of this and contribute to this. And of course, our organizing committee, uh, without which we couldn't do this at all. Um, Megan, Men, Michael, uh, Derek, Aaron, Chris Carlston, uh, Jeremy Robles, and of course, Ryan Allen. Thank you guys. You're going to hear and see them all throughout this. So when you see them, give them a high five, uh, give them a back slap, uh, and all those fun things. The one last thing I'll touch on before I turn this over to get this started uh, is masking. Uh, if it is comfortable for you to wear a mask, we encourage that. Uh, we want you to feel safe in doing so if that's what you want to do here. I believe we do have additional masks uh, at the registration table as well if that is something that you want to do. So, without further ado, I want to turn this over to the great Dr. Chris Carlston. Uh, I call him great despite the fact he just told me he put diesel gas into a gas vehicle. Uh, but we'll forgive him for that, Dr. Chris Carlston. <laughs> 